video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make quite a simple flower and that is the gerbera. Okay so what we're going to need to make the flowers is some cutters. Now these ones have got the plungers on them but we only actually need um, the cutter so if you haven't got these same ones it's absolutely fine. So I've got those in three different sizes. I've got some yellow flower paste or gum paste so I've got a yellow for the petals and a slightly darker shade of yellow for the centres, a foam mat, a craft knife, a rolling pin, a tiny five petal cutter, um, a bottle, one of these tools, some edible glue and I've also got these daisy centres. Now if you don't have these that's absolutely fine, I'll show you how to do it without. So what we want to do first is just roll out the yellow. Okay, so because I'm not actually going to put wires in these flowers, what I've actually done is just rolled it out so it's about a millimetre thin. And then what I'm going to do is take the petal cutter that I'm going to use first, and you want three pieces. Now what you don't want to do is, we don't want any um, embossed pattern on these, so I'm just going to pop them out like that. Okay, so now I've got those cut out, what I'm actually going to do is turn them over and just lightly run my ball to over them just to give the petals some shape so they're not completely flat. Use some edible glue and just stick the three of those together. Now what you want to do is make sure that you just vary the petals slightly so they don't have to be kind of covering each other. Now what I'm going to do is I've actually cut out some of the small five petal flowers and I'm just going to cut those to separate them into little teardrop shape using my craft knife you just cut two little slots into those so it makes three little pieces just place some edible glue around the center of the flower and then taking these I'm just going to place these on push them into place. So I'm going to keep building that up. And I'm going to go around just kind of picking them kind of up and kind of angling them all differently. And then what we want to do now is just create the centre. So I've got my slightly darker yellow um, floral paste. So there's two ways you can either do this. You can either take your daisy stamps and kind of find one that would work for that size. Or you can just create a small ball and flatten that down on the palm of your hand. And then using kind of a pointed tool, just kind of push the texture into those. So that's one option. So I'm actually going to use kind of this. So I'm just going to push that into there. And that gives you your texture center. And then I'm just going to glue that in there and then once it's glued in what I'm going to do is just pull those pieces up and I'm just going to go over the texture of it slightly just so it's not as neat. So I've actually just made these um, little dishes out of tin foil so I'm just going to pick up the flour and just pop those in there and I just pull the petals around just because we want to create kind of um, a curve on the back of the flower and then what I'm going to do is just leave those um, to harden um, so I leave them for a few hours or overnight okay so once the um, the gebra flower has hardened slightly what I'm going to do is I've just got two shades of green petal dust and what I'm going to do just where the um, the centre of the flower and these um, little fringe bits I'm actually just going to brush some of the green 
around there onto those. And there you have your Jebra flowers. Now once they're completely dry, what you want to do is just put a bit of edible glue on the back and then you can just stick them onto your cakes. I really hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, then please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my YouTube videos, then please click subscribe.